The Captain Talk Flicks. The Captain Talk Flicks. The Captain Talk Flicks. The Captain Talk Flicks. Movies, TV, sports, flicks. The Captain Talk Flicks. The Captain Talk Flicks. The Captain Talk Flicks. Movies, TV, sports, flicks. Welcome to the Captain Talk Flicks Podcast. I'm your host, the Captain Cortez, and this is where we talk flicks. Welcome to the podcast, the podcast where me, the Captain, talks about movies, TV, sports, flicks. Anything you see on a two board screen, I to get in here and give my unique perspective. Because after 44 years of being on planet Earth, I have developed a unique perspective about these movies, TV, sports, and flicks. I to get on here and tell you about it. Because just maybe, just maybe you care. And according to the stats, you care. I want to give a big shout out to my peeps in, in, in the birthplace of civilization down in Africa. Because it appears, it seems, a lot of you guys out in Africa are checking the podcast out. Gratitude, gratitude. I appreciate it, appreciate it. Didn't expect uh, people to be hearing it down there, to be honest with you. But I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. I appreciate that you like this dude from the Midwest and want to hear me talk about the various things on the tube screen and all that kind of and, and your tube screen and all that, right? So thank you very much. If you've been here before, you know what to expect. If you're brand new, I just told you what to do. And also, back in the days, I went to school to be a radio DJ, but I never got a job. I had a conversation with, about that with my family this week. And I told them, I said, you remember I went to school to be a radio DJ, I never got a job. They're like, it's okay, we still love you. And so, um, yeah, and also, um, I've also been known to be the greatest podcaster in the multiverse. So, yeah, yeah, we can do it. You know all that. So, let me not waste some more time. Let's get right in the podcast. But first, a word from our sponsors. So, if you're still looking for a face mask, if you still can't find it, because I hear some people are having difficulties finding the face mask, right? I hear it. We got some of the existing fictions out of the store, various sayings and patterns on them. And you can get yourself a nice face mask to make sure your face is covered when you go out to the buildings and public spaces, you know, so we can so we can battle this rona. So they're over at the existing fictions out of the store, get your mask, and I will put the link below. Now let's get on with the podcast. So you know what I'm about to say. We are still battling the invisible invisible enemy. We're still battling them, unfortunately. And I'm not going to go on a long rant about it. We're still battling them. We will prevail. In the end. We'll prevail. When it's all said and done, we're going to be the victors. I'm not going to give it no more energy, no more time. We're still battling Rona. So what? Who cares? Kick Rona to the curb. Peace out. Now let me get on with the juice, uh, the, the, the meaty part of the, the juicy, meaty part of the podcast, right? So it just broke this week. On the news, the news reported. The news this is actual real news, not fake news. That Joe Rogan, the Joe Rogan podcast, signed a deal for a hundred million dollars, so Spotify could stream that podcast. Right? He's gonna get paid a hundred million dollars for talking. Now, if someone says, "Hey, Captain, we'll give you a hundred million dollars for you talking," I'll take it in a minute. Thank you very much. <laughs> but it's it's just it's just just think about that. All he does is sit up there and he talks. He's doing what I'm doing, right? in the chair, talks to guests. It's a great podcast, by the way. Talks, getting a hundred million dollars, man. Fantastic. I thought it was I thought it was awesome. I know it's a podcast, but the podcast is a visual aspect to it. Usually when it's the podcast, it's I watched a YouTube of it. So it is on the tube. It's not all audio, it's on the tube. I, that's the one I normally watch. I sit back, eat some dinner, and I'm watching Joe Rogan talk to smart people, right? So I do that. It's it's a great time. So if you want to get into the podcast game, I mean, payments are starting to, they're starting to pay people. You know, I used to dream to be in the NBA. Now you can dream about being a podcaster. I mean, you can be a podcaster, but I can get paid, baby. Make payday off that, right? So, anyways, yeah, so all my guys out there, see this man, like, you can aspire to do that. Just talking, it's easy. Just get up here and start talking. You hear me doing it? Easy. You hear me every week, right? Just talking, bro. All, all I have is a, is a, is a, uh, I got a, I got, I got a little bit of college, high school diploma, right? a little bit of college not a PhD but I still get out here and talk every day it's not it's not that difficult put in the work and you can do it so I did want to talk about that the fact that a podcaster is getting big time bank 
I'm curious though if uh, the podcast, his podcast, will still be on YouTube because I believe the deal he signed is exclusively to Spotify. So I don't know if the video they do on YouTube is not going to be available no more. I'd be really disappointed if it is, if it's not. Because normally, like I said, when I'm watching, when I listen to the, the Joe Rogan podcast, it usually is on YouTube. I don't ever listen to it in the car on the, uh, you know, on the, on the apps or anything like that. Because it's just, his, his podcast is like three hours, a lot of two, three hours. It's just easier for me to digest if I sit, you know, eating something or something, whatever, and watching the, watching it versus driving the car. I get, look, because if, if I'm in the car or something, or walking, I might get like 10, 15 minute little chunks of it. I need more than that. So sitting down with it, watching the video is, is the way to go for me. So hopefully that if it's not available on YouTube, there still is a way to access the video some way at, at, at home while eating dinner, right? So, so, so I hope so. Hopefully that you worked that out, Rogan. And in any ways, I was reading about it. So basically, he, uh, he licensed his podcast. So he still owns all the rights to the podcast, but he licensed it out. That is, that is a great, great, that's, that's fantastic. Because right now, the captain owns all his podcasts. I'm a proud podcast owner, right? And I wouldn't want to give those rights up. I, I like owning my, my podcast. It's cool, right? But if you want to you license them, but we can make that happen. You want the captain to be licensed, we can do that. You want to cut me a check? Yeah, I'll be all right with that. Well, I wouldn't mind that. Give me a little extra tea. Give me some extra spinach. You know how much spinach? I always tell you guys to give me spinach. You give me a little extra spinach. Get some kombucha juices, whatever, you know. I'm not an easy man, a hard man to please, you know what I mean? Just give me get some extra kombucha, some spinach, some pepper jack cheese, some ground beef, some chorizo, so I can make those those awesome chorizo tacos. Hey, so that's all. Come me a check for all. Give, give, give me some groceries, baby. Go eating. <laughs> so anyway, some, yeah, you know, Rogan's getting big paydays. And maybe someday the captain can get a big payday. Maybe. Or maybe they'll just give me a payday candy bar. I don't know, but maybe someday get a big payday. <laughs> But it doesn't matter. I do it for the love of podcasting. Just like I do music, music for the love of music. It's because I love doing it. I enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. You want to cut me a check, a big check? I'll take it. But even that being said, do it for the love. And just ladies and gentlemen, just get, just, a, and not, just for your TV after school special teaching moment. Anything you do, man, I mean, if you do it with love, you obviously want to get paid, get some money for it, right? Right, you do? But even if you don't, you love it so much, you do it anyway. You do it whether you're getting paid and rich or not. I heard a quote from Dr. Dre that uh, he said he's been doing music consistently since, like, I don't know, it was a long time, right? And he said even if he wasn't getting paid, all that money he's getting paid, he still do it, like, daily, daily thing. Doesn't matter, he just does it for the love of it, right? And that's what you gotta, you gotta have that passion. You do your passion, do your work, you do it for the love of it, eventually you get some pay out of that, right? And even if you don't, it doesn't matter because you love doing it. And I love talking this microphone, Podcast, it's a great thing. I wish I would have started sooner. So when I was going to talk about the Rogan getting 100 mil for talking. And one other thing I want to talk about this week too, before I close it out, is that I've been obsessing over this show called Idiomatic. Okay, it's called Idiomatic. I think I touched on the last week of the, word, the bonus episode, a couple episodes ago. But Idiomatic's I've been obsessing with, right? It's over at the Sundance uh, Now app. It's an exclusive to, Sun, exclusive, exclusive to Sundance Now. And it's set in Finland, right? And apparently in Finland, Swedish people live there too. Because in the show, I believe there's a lady who is Finn, married to a Swedish man. And it shows the dynamics of the the Finn and the, and the, and the, and the, and the Swedish person living together and the, the, how the culture is slightly different. I'll be completely honest with you because I'm from the States. I didn't know there was a, I didn't know there was a large variety of differences in the lifestyles. Because I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm American. America. We, we, I told you before, in America, we don't learn about other cultures. You gotta learn about ours. <laughs> I'm not saying it's right, but it's true. We don't learn about it. Uh, you can probably survey a lot of Americans and ask them about Finland and Sweden and a lot of them will tell you they don't know anything about it. And I'll be honest, I like to think I'm a worldly man and like to read things and, and know things. I, I read a lot of books, a lot of articles and try to try to study and learn. And I really didn't know nothing about Sweden or Finland, right? But apparently, in Sweden, from watching the show, they do what's called a, uh, a crayfish party, right? They get together, they crayfish, they sing songs, right? They do this, right? It's a Swedish thing. And in one of the episodes, like, the, fin, the, the lady who's the, the wife who's Finnish, she's experiencing this crayfish party for the first time. 
I felt like the wife because I had never experienced a crayfish party. And this, and I was experienced in what there's very interesting. It was very interesting. I don't know how true to life this the portrayal of the, of the crayfish party was, but um, uh, if it was true, it was, it was a very interesting. Just a whole show. If you don't know anything about Finnish or Swedish culture, I mean, it's a good introduction to that, I guess. You know, if, you know, TV shows are fake or whatever. You know, they, they're not real life, but a lot of times they'll base them on like real things, and you know, it's like heightened reality, whatever. But it's interesting to learn about the, you know, the uh, the crayfish party. I also learned about uh, beer floating, right? I guess it's like a race. We're in a boat, you're floating on a river, and you're getting drunk. It's like it's, it's like this annual thing they do, like in I think it's by Helsinki, right, in Finland, but it's Swedish. It's, it started in Sweden, but they do it in Finland. It's really weird. But, but yeah, so that was going on there. I also talking about these exotic beers I never heard of. It's, it's a very interesting show, considering that I watch, you know, shows from the States all the time, right? And I know I know U.S. culture so well. You know, I've been, been in the United States for like 44 years, right? I know, I know our culture very well. Various aspects and various things and various subcultures, of course, because I grew up here in the States. I'm very well versed in our culture because I live it, right? I live that culture. But I don't know nothing about Swedish and Sweden and Finland and all that. I've watched a lot of shows from the UK. I listen to like grind music all the time. I get, I get, I got a little bit of taste of that. I understand the culture a little bit. Now why I watch stuff from the Middle East, Israel, right? I get like a little bit of that, right? I understand a little bit of all that. Those, those places, a little, little bit. But Finland and Sweden, nothing, nothing at all. And then what I find very interesting is that, that I'm also watching a show, Idiomatic learning about Finland and Sweden. And Sweden has been in the news the last couple couple months because of the way they're handling the Rona. So apparently Sweden is handling the Rona differently than the majority of the rest of the world. So they have a different way of de- dealing with it. And so they were talking about Bill Maher. But they said there was a guy in Bill Maher last night explaining exactly how this done. And since I'm not an expert, I'm not going to explain how it is done. But Sweden is approaching it different than we in the United States are. And probably where you're at, the world, wherever you're at, hearing this. I know my guy's down in Africa. Um, you may not be handled the same way as Sweden is. Chances are you probably not. But um, they're doing it a certain way. And we're waiting to see how how the Rona plays out in that area with the method they're using versus the method we're using. I mean, the, the, if I understand correctly, the method we're using is everybody stay home. And the method in Sweden, it was uh, to understand this gentleman correctly, is... They just live life like it's normal. <laughs> just doing what I, just doing normal stuff. I think could be wrong. You could Google it because I'm sure there's a billion news stories on TV or the tube or internet, whatever. Yeah. So as I found Sweden and Finland in the entertainment world, Sweden's making a move like, hey, we're gonna fight the Rona this way. So anyways, man. So it's been it's been like Sweden and Finland being all of my in my space and my mindset last week it's very interesting I, I do like I said I, I do like to watch a lot of foreign stuff and things from overseas because obviously I don't travel a lot and so the only way I can really experience them as of now you know through the tube and through you know foods and all that right so so what I what would really be interesting which they haven't really shown is like what kind of dishes or food they're eating they really got into it too much but I haven't watched the whole series yet I hope they give me some some food some cuisine that are just strictly Finnish or Sweden Cause then I go and try. <laughs> so anyways, that's all I want to talk about this week. It's a short one. It's, it's, it's just FYI, where I'm at in the Midwest, in the studio space right now, the space station. I'm sweating already. I've only been here for 10, 15 minutes. I'm already hot. Summertime, doing these podcasts in the place I record them in. It's tough, man, because it gets hot. And we just began it, right? I think it's like 80 degrees today. And it's just with the way I do the podcast, not to keep the sound quiet, I do them a certain way. It's not conducive to keeping the area cool. So I'm currently sweating. Like I say many times, I'm sweating just for you, my audience. And if the guy is out in Africa, you're probably like, bro, you don't know nothing about heat. We down in Africa, we know all about heat. You ain't hot, bro. Yeah, you're probably right. You probably got like way more heat you guys are dealing with down in Africa. But me being up in the Midwest and in the United States of America where with the temperatures don't get that hot, it's, it's a beast for me. And also my, my, my genetic background, you think I'd be ready be more able to deal with that but i'll be honest i've been up in the up in the midwest for so long not so much so anyways so anyways that's what i talk about i sweat just for you i want to thank you for joining me i talk about you know 
dude getting 100 mil for talking. You know, that, that great show, Idiomatic, over on the Sundance Now app. Check it out. It's so dope. And it's all I talk about this week. I want to thank you for join, joining me. Gratitude, gratitude. I appreciate everybody listens to me talk. I'll be honest. I'm sometimes surprised. I see stats like, they want to hear me talk. Like, bro, <laughs> you should have seen me today. I was like cutting grass, bro. It's a normal dude. But anyways, I got love for podcasting. Oh, thanks for joining me. Gratitude, gratitude. And until next time, we'll see. The park can never be well unless the whole is well. Play-Doh. Until next time, it's the Captain Peace. The Captain, the Captain Talks, Talks Flicks. Flicks.